my name is Anna Vidal and I'm with the University of Alaska Fairbanks, the Institute of Northern Engineering, and also the International Arctic Research Center. And we are standing here on Jarvis Glacier. The Jarvis Creek watershed, I find it as a really a, a great a watershed to, to do research that relates to like integrating gl glaciers with lowland hydrology yeah, because we have the farmers work uh, here in Delta Junction, we have the army here and they all heavily uh, affected by, by the Jarvis Creek and the, the hydrology in this area, the flooding and groundwater supply and so on. So what we want to do out here is to get an understanding of how much uh, the mass balance of the glacier, how much snow is accumulating on the glacier and um, also how much of the snow and the ice that's melting each year so we can uh, get an idea of uh, the, the contribution of um, meltwater from the glacier and the glacier snow to, to the watershed, overall watershed. Because in a future climate, for example, uh, we might see increased glacier melt and therefore increased contribution of runoff um, initially. But as the glacier becomes smaller and smaller, that contribution will, will decrease. Joanna here, she is uh, using a steam drill to drill a hole into the glacier and then we're going to put in a um, stake, a pipe, metal pipe and we stick it into this hole about four meters into the glacier ice and then we measure where the snow surface is on, on the stake and then we come back in the end of the end of the summer and see okay where's the surface, um, glacier surface now located on the stake just measure the difference so we can see how much has melted over the summer. We have a couple of different funding agencies. It's, um, one major one is Department of Defense uh, that are interested in to see how climate change affects U.S. Army training lands, both in regards to permafrost and also surface water and soil moisture. And another product is the Department of Transportation here in Alaska. They um, are interested in, in this hydrology work because a lot of the, the road network crosses rivers that are glacier fed and when you're putting a new bridge you want to have it uh, to uh, to withstand the forces uh, during uh, several decades ahead so knowing that we we have um, potential of increased glacier melt in the future and therefore increased runoff across these road networks that's um, where we come in and trying to give them some f information of future projections of, of runoff across the, under the bridges.